Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great week so far. So today's video is going to be another one in my Best of Beauty 2016 series where I go through and chat about my favorite products from the entire year. So today we are focusing on eye products. I have everything from palettes to single shadows to eyeliners and mascaras. So if you're only interested in one part, I will have timestamps in the description box below. But I definitely want to hear from you guys. So don't forget to leave me a comment below with your absolute favorite eye products of the year so I can check them out and add them to my list and if you guys are interested in hearing about mine then let's jump into it I don't know where to start let's start with eyeshadow primer because that is obviously the first thing that you put on your eyes my favorite from the entire year was the Smashbox 24-hour photo finish shadow primer I use this every single day and it has replaced every single primer in my collection I feel like it's just the perfect consistency because it is really soft and smooth on the eyes so you don't have to tug your eyes to get it to apply and it also just leaves your eyes with a really thin base so it's not going to really cause shadows to go on unevenly or patchy. They glide on so smoothly and it locks your shadow into place. Mine do not move throughout the entire day and I definitely have to attribute it to this primer. So if you guys haven't tried it, I recommend it. I started this one either at the end of last year or the beginning of this year and I still have so much left so it literally lasts forever an entire year or longer so let's talk eyeliner I actually discovered a new eyeliner this year that replaced my old essentials so my old essential is the one that I did use for the first half of the year and that one is the Stila stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner you guys if you've been around my channel for a while know that I was like this eyeliners biggest fan I recommended it to everybody and I still do recommend it if you struggle with watery eyes or oily eyes Eyelids, or your eyeliner is just smudged by the end of the day and you don't know why this is definitely going to be a good option for you because it truly does stay in place it also goes on really nicely the tip of the eyeliner is the perfect length it just glides on it stays in place and makes doing your winged liner super simple but I have to say I discovered the physicians formula eye booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner in Serum halfway through the year and I literally haven't used this ever since I discovered this eyeliner because this one is amazing. Before I share all of the reasons why I love this one so much, I do have to say the steel liner does stay in place a little bit better. So if that is your number one concern, pick this one up. But if you are just looking for the perfect eyeliner, this is a great option. It glides on so easily. It's really dark, really pigmented, and it has a brush tip, which is a little bit more flexible than the Stila tip so it gives your eyes it just it makes doing your eyeliner a little bit easier and it's more forgiving which I definitely need because I still struggle with winged liner it does last a long time it's a lot more affordable than the Stila liner and the Stila liner runs out a lot more quickly on me so I'm a huge fan of the physicians formula liner so the only other eyeliner that I use other than a liquid liner on my upper lash line are the ColourPop cream gel liners and I love the metallic formula I actually have all of them. I have most of them, if not all of them, and they're the only liners that I use. A lot of you guys think that I wear like a super dark liner on my lower lash line, and it's usually just eyeshadow, to be honest. A lot of people tell me to like lighten it up and don't wear it, but that's just how I like it. My eyes are pretty big, so I feel like if I don't have like liner or shadow on the bottom lash line to kind of even it out, it looks a little bit weird. But anyways, I'm a huge fan of the metallic liners on the waterline because they just help to brighten up the eye. Eye. and since I do close my eyes in so much with eyeliner these give it a really like open effect at the same time they just they give you a little bit something extra and you can't necessarily tell what it is because it's on the waterline so it's a little bit more subtle but they help to just brighten up and just give your eyes a beautiful look I have a bunch of these sitting on my vanity and they're the only eyeliners that I really use so I'm a huge fan of them especially the metallic shades I definitely recommend them you can't go wrong with them and even if you don't think you would wear like a metallic like gold you would be so surprised it looks beautiful on the waterline with even like natural eyeshadow so I recommend it picking them up and giving them a shot they stay in place for me they don't move and they're so beautiful so let's do eyeshadow and then I will jump into mascara let me start with palettes so I do have four different palettes to share with you guys and I'll run through them kind of quickly because I have talked about them recently and I did just do a video on my favorite eyeshadow palettes but I have to quickly mention them because they are my absolute favorites so the first one is the 
Buxom Dolly's Wild Side Palette, and I discovered this one in the springtime, and I haven't been able to stop wearing it ever since. It just comes with six beautiful shadows, and I love the formula. I think they're really blendable, they're really soft and pigmented, and I just like the colors in this palette. They're a little bit more unique than your typical neutral eyeshadow palette, but at the same time, I feel like it still passes as a neutral palette with a pop of color in it. The next palette is one that I was actually trying to use up in 2016, and unfortunately, I failed. I failed at using up a lot of the products because it is so hard. I feel like it's a little bit hard because I'm constantly trying to use new products and rotate my collection because I do film YouTube videos. But honestly, I like this year has taught me that products last forever and I really have been trying to cut down on purchasing them because they last forever. But I have to say that using this palette so much this year has definitely shown me that this is an amazing palette. It's just full of eight neutral matte eyeshadows. So you can use it on its own to create really basic or even smoky, beautiful looks. But I like to use it in combination with other palettes because they're just easy to wear, just essential colors in your collection. Of course, I have to mention the Coastal Sense eyeshadow palette. I have used this every single day since I purchased it. And technically, it's not a palette. Technically, these are single shadows because you do purchase them separately and then you just put them in your own palette. Or you can just like keep them in you know the single pot form if that works for you. But they have so many options on the website. You guys were the ones that have told me to try these for the longest time. I finally purchased them. I actually just purchased like a bunch more. So I want to do a video on those as well. But these are amazing. They're blendable. They're pigmented. They're crazy affordable. And if you are just not a fan of like certain palettes or how they kind of put like pops of color in it. I mean, these are completely customizable. So you can create your own palette for really like half the cost of the palettes that are sold at Sephora. Definitely try them out. They have so many shadows to choose from, so whether you are a huge fan of colorful shadows or a huge fan of neutral shadows like me, they're going to have so many options for you to create your own palette. And the last one that I have to mention is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons Palette. This is just one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes, and I used it a lot during the first half of the year, but I still love it so much. I think the colors are really beautiful, and for a neutral palette, I feel like this one is unique because there are a lot of shades in here that I don't find in my other neutral palettes but at the same time it's super wearable so you can have it for like an easy go-to everyday look or also if you want something a little bit unique this is a great option and I love it I love it so much so I recommend grabbing it if you haven't already of course my favorite shadows of all time are the ColourPop shadows I've just fallen in love with these ever since I first tried them uh, was it last year or the year before? I remember like I originally had like four ColourPop shadows and now my collection is out of hand. I think I have like close to a hundred. I did a swatch video when I had around 50. I need to do an updated one because I have so so many more and truthfully I feel like there are a lot of shadows in my collection that go unused but it's hard to know which ones you're going to love until you play around with them and use them. I personally love any shadow that's not a matte finish. I'm not a huge fan of the matte shadows because I mainly use them on my lid or in my inner corner or my brow bone and I feel like I always wear shimmery shadows on my lid and as a highlight in general. I feel like I generally use matte shadows in the crease and for those I'll just use my Coastal Sun shadows but I have a hard time applying ColourPop shadows in the crease. There's something about them that just doesn't blend as well for me but if you use your finger and apply them to the lid they are so beautiful. ColourPop did just come out with some new brushes which I personally haven't tried so maybe those will make a difference for me but I love wearing them on the lid and I know that some people aren't a fan or they don't want to try them because the texture is a little bit different than your typical powder shadow but you guys will love them they are so pigmented and they stay in place all day long they have so many colors to choose from and I think a lot of my favorites are like really unique shades or really dramatic glittery shades but they do have some really subtle neutral shadows on the website if that's your thing Personally, ColourPop is the reason why I've really been wearing some color on my eyes. In general, I love my browns and my golds, but this year I've kind of stepped outside my comfort zone and I owe it to ColourPop because they have so many beautiful colors that you just want to grab them and put them on your eyes. Another single shadow formula that I love is the Milani, I always forget the exact name, the Milani Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadows. These are amazing and I find them at the Dollar Tree, which is crazy. I think they're still available at the drugstore for like four or five dollars 
but definitely check your Dollar Tree and see if you can find them. I have some really beautiful, unique colors, but I like these because they are a typical powder shadow, but there's no fallout, they don't kick up any excess product, and they also blend so beautifully. So I am a huge fan of these. I usually use them in combination with ColourPop shadows, so I will wear ColourPop all over the lid, and then I will wear Milani in the crease, and I can't get enough of them. I think they're amazing. Another face product that I use as an eyeshadow is the Balm Desert. I use this literally every single day as a transition shade. I try to use other transition shades, but I don't like how they look. I wear this one with cool tone looks, warm tone looks, natural, dramatic, it doesn't matter. I literally blend this right above my crease as a transition shade every single day, and it just helps to transition whatever you're wearing on the lids to the brow bone, especially because I tend to wear browns on the lid or like in my crease so I feel like this goes really well with brown shadows but I'm wearing it today and I love it even though this is more of like a cool toned look. Okay I'm almost finished I just want to share a few different mascaras that I loved throughout the entire year. So my favorite mascara of the entire year if I had to get rid of all of my mascaras and I could only keep one is the Essence Cosmetics Lash Princess Mascara. I am in love with this. For me like I have super short lashes they're pretty much non-existent and this one makes my lashes look long and thick. I don't actually wear false lashes a lot of times when I wear this. Truthfully, I wear false lashes a lot of the time whether I'm like running errands or filming a YouTube video. I just love false lashes and now that I've kind of gotten the hang of applying them, they're not too difficult to apply. But on the days when I don't wear false lashes, I will only wear this mascara because it makes me look like I actually have eyelashes. It gives your lashes length, volume, thickness, like everything you're looking for in a mascara. And it's from the drugstore. It's so affordable and I just love it so, so much. You can find it at Target or Ulta or you can probably find it online, but you guys have to try it if you haven't already. So I'm not a huge waterproof mascara fan. In fact, I don't really wear it unless I'm on vacation and we're going swimming or we're going to the beach and I want to wear mascara at the beach. And on those occasions, I reach for the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. It's funny because I wasn't actually a huge fan of the original formula. I did repurchase it so I can try it again this year and see if I like it any better because once I tried this I loved this one so I was surprised because I didn't really love the original so I am going to give the original another shot but in general waterproof mascaras don't make my eyelashes look good at all and this one makes my eyelashes look really thick really voluminous and it stays in place so I'm a huge fan the packaging is so cool and I really don't buy many products based on packaging but if I was going to this is the one that I would grab it has like water droplets on it and it's really heavy, it just feels like a luxurious product and it works really well too. The last thing that I want to mention is the e.l.f. makeup remover pen because I use this every single day to help me with my eyeliner. You guys, I struggle with my eyeliner every day and I've been wearing wing liner since I was like 14 years old and for some reason I still do not have it perfected. I don't know what the problem is, but every day I make it too thick or too thin or too long and this pen is a lifesaver. It really just helps so that you don't have to start all over and all you do is take it and kind of swipe away any liner that you messed up and it's gone. It's filled with makeup remover and it really does work. I like it because it's in a pen form so it makes it nice and easy to get into like those really small hard to reach places or if you don't want to mess up your entire wing but you just made it a little bit too thick you can use this pen to thin it out a little bit and I use mine every single day like literally every day and if I can't find it then I probably don't wear eyeliner that day because I know I can't do my eyeliner without this pen. So those were all of my favorite eye products of 2016. I had a lot of them but I've really just been loving all of these products so so much. Eye products are one of my favorite things because I wear so much eyeshadow, so much eyeliner, mascara, so I love discovering new favorites. So if you guys have any recommendations at all, make sure you let me know in the comments below. And don't forget that I will link all of my other best of beauty videos down below in case you guys do want to check them out. Otherwise, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. I am so thankful for you guys, and I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.